based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. There are many who do say, if thou wilt show unto us a sign from heaven, then we shall believe. Now I ask, is this faith? Nay, faith is not to have a perfect knowledge of things. Therefore, if ye have faith, ye hope for things which are not seen, which are true. Now, God imparteth his word by angels unto men. Yea, not only men, but women also. Now, this is not all. Little children do have words given unto them many times, which confound the wise and the learned. Now, as I said concerning faith, that it was not a perfect knowledge, even so it is with my words. Ye cannot know of their surety at first unto perfection any more than faith is a perfect knowledge. If ye will experiment upon my words and exercise a particle of faith, yea, even if ye can no more than desire to believe, let this desire work in you until you can give place for a portion of my words. We will compare the word unto a seed. If ye give place that a seed may be planted in your heart, behold, if it be a true seed or a good seed, if ye do not cast it out by your own belief that ye will resist the Spirit of the Lord, behold, it will begin to swell within your breasts. And when you feel these swelling motions, you begin to say within yourselves, it must needs be that this is a good seed, or that the word is good, for it beginneth to enlarge my soul. Yea, it beginneth to enlighten my understanding. Yea, it beginneth to be delicious to me. And now behold, is your knowledge perfect? Yea, your knowledge is perfect in that thing. And as the tree beginneth to grow, you will say, let us nourish it with great care, that it may get root, that it may grow up and bring forth fruit unto us. But if ye neglect the tree and take no thought for its nourishment, Behold, it will not get any root. And when the heat of the sun cometh, it withers away and you cast it out. Now, this is not because the seed was not good, but it is because your ground is barren and you will not nourish the tree. If you will not nourish the word, looking forward with an eye of faith to the fruit thereof, he can never pluck of the fruit of the tree of life. But if you will nourish the word by your faith, with great diligence and with patience, looking forward to the fruit thereof, it shall take root. And behold, it shall be a tree springing up unto everlasting life. And because of your diligence and your faith and your patience with the word and nourishing it, that it may take root in you. Behold, by and by, ye shall pluck the fruit thereof. And ye shall feast upon this fruit even until ye are filled. But ye hunger not, neither shall ye thirst. Then you shall reap the rewards of your faith, your diligence, patience, and long-suffering, waiting for the tree to bring forth fruit unto you.
Shall we believe in one God, that we might obtain this fruit? Also, in what manner should we plant the seed or exercise our faith? Do you remember what Zenos, the prophet of old, has said concerning prayer or worship? He said, Thou art merciful, O God, for thou hast heard my prayer when I was in the wilderness, and in my field, and when I did turn unto my closet. Yea, and thou hast also heard me when I have been cast out and have been despised by mine enemies. And it is because of thy Son that thou hast been merciful unto me. Therefore, I will cry unto thee in all mine afflictions, for in thee is my joy. For thou hast turned thy judgments away from me because of thy Son. Do you believe those scriptures which have been written by them of old? Believe in the Son of God, that He will come to redeem His people, that He shall suffer and die to atone for their sins, and that He shall rise again from the dead, which shall bring to pass the resurrection, that all men shall stand before him to be judged at that last and judgment day according to their works. I desire that you shall plant this word in your hearts. And as it beginneth to swell, even so nourish it by your faith. And behold, it will become a tree springing up in you unto everlasting life. And then, May God grant unto you that your burdens may be light to the joy of his Son. Amen.